Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. A landscape in one of the countrysides in Orangeville. Powerful. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today, I'd like to share with you my poem devotional extracted from Nahum 1 verse 17. Sorry, verse 7. And here's my verse. God's verse. The Lord is good, a strong refuge when trouble comes. He is close to those who trust Him. Here's my essay, my poem. A strong refuge. Do you feel overwhelmed with challenges and afflictions? Run to the Lord. He is good and a strong refuge to lean on. He will never let you down when you call on Him. He is close to those who are faithful and trusting. The Lord is our rock and our salvation. In Him, you will find rest and restoration. Seek the Lord and He will protect you from evil. He is always there to guard you from the lures of the devil. Here's my essay. In the Philippines, uh, all banks have security guards. Even schools and many establishments would hire a guard to ensure safety in their businesses' places. When a Canadian friend of mine visited Manila, um, when I was still there, he was shocked to see so many security guards almost everywhere we went. Because of the high crime rate in a very populated place, it was almost a necessity to have protection. The Bible shows us the ultimate guard and protection. The Lord is our strong refuge when trouble comes. He is close to those who trust Him. I had an experience when I was ostracized in a community I worked for. I wouldn't know how to cope with all the attacks and discrimination if I hadn't run to God, God for protection. Prayer. Thank you for protecting me, my Lord. Reflection. Share a time when God showed His protection to you. Um, when, when I was still living with a very um, ungodly man, um, even at that point when I didn't really um, had a clear relationship with God, although I always thought of Him, but I was so ashamed of uh, living in with somebody who is not godly. So I would always utter a prayer or utter, you know, or talk to God in my thoughts. And one day this person wanted to harm me uh, physically. And, um, and I know... I didn't know then what I know now, but it was probably the Spirit of God. I used to call it a hunch or a, you know, a hunch or um, an instinct that um, I was going to be harmed. But actually, now that I know, because the Bible says that it's the Holy Spirit that does all these things to you, which is the Spirit of God, to protect you from harm or danger or from um, harming yourself or from um, people who wants to harm you. So I just prayed that time and apparently the plan of that person didn't push through because I was supposed he was he was going to do a trick to me that I will slip on something um and apparently what he was planning to trick me with actually he became you know the victim of that and that's when I know that God was really protecting me because, um, because He knows that I love Him, that He knows that I believe in Him. So there are many occasions in my life that I could actually um, see how God protects me. He even protects me from myself, you know, when I make a harsh de decision or when I say harsh things to people because of, my, of the nature of my personality. Um, God stops me and tries to do something so that I will stop doing that to protect me. 
And so I think that the best protection, you don't even have to do self-protection. I didn't even know that self-protection was, was against God's, uh, God's will. So I used to protect myself so much. Uh, and when you're traumatized and when you tr protect yourself so much, you're actually blocking people from having a relationship with you because of your fear that you will be hurt. So even before you get hurt, you run away from them. And so God showed me that that is not the way He operates. He wants me to totally depend on Him for everything, for protection, for guidance, for, for, um, for comfort, for everything. So uh, I invite you to meditate on, uh, on how good God is and how strong He is, that He is our rock and our refuge whenever we feel um, we feel pain or we're in trouble or we're suffering. So thanks for watching and I hope that you check my website at ilmaarts.com that's I-L-M-A-A-R-T-S dot com for more artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day.